What's going on guys? Today we're going to be ranking all Apex Legends from Season 1 or 0 all the way up to Season 11. And I'm doing this just before Mad Maggie comes out for Season 12 because I think it'd be a good idea for people who still may or may not know what Legends to pick or what Legends are better than the rest. So we're going to start this off by going with Ash. Now Ash off rip, I may, uh, she's an A tier Legend. Her tactical stops people in place, although it only stops one, it also does 10 damage. Now, it's not the best tactical, but it's a good tactical, and she's a pretty good movement legend considering her ultimate. It is one way, but it definitely allows you to get to jump on quite a lot of people at almost any time. Now, moving on, we have Bangalore. Bangalore is, in my opinion, before all these new recon legends came out, I definitely would have made Bangalore an S tier, but now with every single recon legend in the game that can just scan... It makes Bangalore smoke almost pointless. Like her passive, yeah, it's amazing, but it really means nothing when your tactical is useless. So for that reason, unfortunately, Bangalore used to be my main um, back in season six. I'm just gonna have to put her in D tier. Like I, I hate to do it, but that's just where she sits. Bloodhound. Now Bloodhound is definitely an S tier legend. Because he's a recon legend, that's what makes him S tier. Because his ability to scan, and he's really good in ranks. Like, if you can set up a good comp team in ranks with a Bloodhound, you pretty much have the game won. As long as you're, again, you can hit your shots, and you have a pretty good team overall. But Bloodhound's tactical, which he can just scan in a pretty decent radius. You can see the outlines of people. And his ultimate, which gives him a speed boost, as well as he outlines everybody kind of like a Digi Threat does. So that makes him a pretty good S tier legend. Next, we have Caustic. Now, Caustic is a defensive legend. His tactical is a trap. So he can definitely trap doors and some other things. His ultimate can be used to flush out buildings or combined with a few other ultimates. It'll definitely bump him up in the ranks. But by himself alone, I'm going to have to put him C tier. Um, I would love to put him B tier. Well, actually, you know, with this passive, I think I could put him B tier. But his passive with the minus 15% damage taken, that does work out pretty well. Now, Crypto, another recon legend. Um, his tactical is his drone. His ultimate is the where he can break your shields uh, with his drone within a certain radius. It allows him to scan people from a pretty good distance, and he's able to tell how many squads are within a 200-meter radius. Now, that is a pretty good legend, but overall, there's not a lot of people that carry Crypto because he really can't get himself out of a lot of situations. So, with that being said, I'm putting them D tier, mainly because you have to stop, stand still, and get into your drone, and you're basically completely vulnerable. Like, you could see clips of people getting ran up on as crypto and getting blown to smithereens. So that's why he's a D tier. Next, we have Fuse. Oh, boy, Fuse is my main. But the problem with Fuse is definitely i i don't know there's there's no other new buffs they could give fuse that i think can make him better like he's definitely not the best legend like i would love to be like oh fuse is an s tier legend he's he's not he's not he's not s tier he's a really good legend um his tactical basically his tactical lets you finish off kills his ultimate lets you zone people all of that is really good but the, the main problem to me being is again movement a lot of movement legends are the kind of the best legends in the game because it allows you to get out of situations faster than the rest so with that being said i'm not gonna put him d tier i'm not gonna put him c tier i'm gonna sit him b tier things might change towards the end of this because right now looking at it i'm thinking bangalore might get moved to a b tier with what i'm looking at but we'll keep moving now gibraltar gibby is definitely an a tier legend now again same thing if you have a gibby on your team you have cover everywhere you go you will have cover no matter where you are as long as gibby has his tactical his covers up he also takes the minus 15 percent damage and he also has the arm shield which takes damage because now people are saying gibby is damn near invulnerable at this point it feels like such because he has so much especially in ranked where you can just drop your bubble and put up that arm shield and just fire through it like it's so much damage that you block that it's almost impossible to kill gibby at certain times like it feels really difficult so that's why I'm putting him at an A-tier legend, just because of the difficulty to kill this man. It, he's good all around the board. Horizon, a good movement legend. Now, her ultimate allows you to drag people into a within a certain radius, although they can destroy her ultimate. It's Again, it works pretty well if you could set things up with a combo. 
um, as well as I would say her tactical as well. It gives you a bit of high ground advantage. It's pretty loud though, along with her ultimate. Like both of those are pretty loud. Like you you hear them before they're even close to, especially if she's trying to get the high ground somewhere near you. Um, so with that being said, her being a movement legend and especially her passive, which allows her to fall from high heights and then just slide around and she doesn't take the false stun, gonna have to give her B tier. She's gonna get B tier. Now lifeline with the nerf. Oh boy. Lifeline before the nerf. With the with the shield, I would definitely put as an eight tier legend. Um, but now with the nerf, I'm not gonna lie to you. I, I it's it it works. Like you can revive multiple people at the same time and everything sets up pretty well, but it's the problem that you like you get so much slow and you have no protection. Like this point, you have to use cover to revive your teammates whereas beforehand you'd have mobile cover while reviving your teammates and i get how people thought that was strong they wanted the shield to take damage but unfortunately respawn didn't want to do all that so they decided just to remove her shield and let you revive two people at the same time so with that being said of all her of all her debuffs and her tactical which is you know you can passively heal it gives you a pretty decent heal especially if you end a fight um and her ultimate which allows her to get some extra items and now that they buffed her ultimate where you can get an item that you do not have like let's say you have blue shield where you drop your ultimate there's a high chance to get a purple shield in there although you can't get red shield and you'll get shield cells shield bats um a magazine as well as potentially a phoenix kit so that being said i'm gonna put her c tier but again things may move around here towards the end uh lobo Lopa is, a, again, a semi-movement legend. I wouldn't say she's the best movement legend, but she's a decent movement legend. She, um... She, it allows you to just throw your tactical anywhere and you can teleport to there it gets you out of a lot of fights if you can time it properly and with the buff of being able to actually fully sprint and do all your movement tricks while you have her tactical thrown uh, it makes her really good now her ultimate also allows you to pull items from anywhere um within a certain radius like it's a pretty big radius and you can pull out of death boxes pull out of um crates you can pull out of anything so i think that makes her a pretty good legend um but with that being said i think we're gonna we're gonna have to make her i'll i'll give her i'll give her c tier i don't want to say she's b tier because she she has a lot of benefits but they're not the best benefits mirage mirage you my kind sir i wish they gave you more love they do not give mirage enough love um even like they he's his buffs have been average i guess it, it, his ultimate now has changed where you can it, it spawns them immediately and uh you go invisible for a split second whereas beforehand before i think it was season five or six um you will be fully invisible and just spawn them and they stand still to allow you to get away you can still semi do that but you have to stand still let them fully spawn and then back away and it kind of makes it harder to detect you um his passive where he can heal you and go invisible is actually really good i do enjoy that um but the problem not as packed uh not as passive not as tactical sorry but as passive um and as tactical his tactical they really need to do some bug fixes on that considering that your tactical gets stuck on anything your decoy will get stuck on cliffs going up cliffs coming down things that should not exist there the hitbox is it's all over the place either they'll immediately die or they'll get stuck so that does need to be fixed but with that being said i'm definitely going to put him as a b tier legend octane octane is definitely an a tier legend especially with his tattoo it allows you to push fights faster than other legends it allows you to stay in fights and get out of fights quick as well now although sometimes it's not the best idea to stem out of a fight especially if you're getting a full clip depending on how uh, depending on how many people are already up and depending on how bad you hurt them prior to you trying to get out of that fight but sometimes but his tactic comes in handy so his ultimate got a buff a really good buff not too long ago uh where it allows you to double jump so that did make him better um but his movement capabilities overall is what makes him an a-tier legend i'm moving on to pathfinder pathfinder as well i'm gonna say is an a-tier legend um due to his movement capabilities as well his ability to just grapple upon almost anything and just get really fast movement especially with his zip line you're able to double jump triple jump at times um his super grapple the super jumps everything about pathfinder's abilities and his movement is amazing and that's what makes him an a tier legend um now we're gonna move on to rampart rampart her ultimate is really strong now 
Um, but it's all about how you use it. I've used it plenty of times and then got mowed over probably because I didn't charge it in time or I didn't start spinning up properly. It, it, it all comes down to how you play. Like she is a defensive legend, but you can definitely play her mad aggressive. Um, but with that being said, her tactical, which is she could place down walls. Um, that's really good. It allows you to block doors, block some shots and it gives you disruptive rounds when you shoot through the blue side. I'm going to does block quite a few rounds as well. Um, but with that, I'm probably going to make her a CT legend. Now let's move on to Revenant. Revenant's climb. It allows him to climb pretty high. That's his passive, his tactical, um, does stop, uh, does block other people's tacticals and ultimates. It locks them up for a few, bit, few moments. It also stops Valkyrie from being able to fly. Um, so that, that's a really good, that's a really good tactical overall. And this ultimate, which is the death totem, which gives you pretty much a second chance at life, um, or allows you to push fights, uh, sooner than you'd want to beforehand. So that being said, I'm probably going to put him C tier because he's not the best legend. Um, he's, he's not better than anyone I have above him at the moment. He's not better than anybody in the B tier, but he's pretty good. All right. Now we're going to move on to Bangalore. I'm not Bangalore. I was looking at Bangalore when I said that. Sorry. Seer. Seer is a... How do I put this? Another recon legend. Let's start off there. <laughs> um, But he is definitely one of the best recon legends. I'll, I'll put it like that. He's one of the best recon legends considering that he has a heartbeat scanner and it can scan... It could basically tell people where people are from pretty far distance away. And then his ultimate... But the problem with his ultimate is if they just run out of his ultimate, it's now useless. Um, also, the problem with his ultimate is it can't be destroyed pretty quickly. Like a one R99 clip and it's completely done for. His tactical, on the other hand, is pretty good if you could set up the lineup right to shoot his tactical and get people scanned with it. Um, it, it works pretty well. So with that being said, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to put him B or C tier. Like he's not bad, but I'm not going to say he's amazing either. Um, and we're gonna we're gonna put him C tier. We're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna sit him here, and then and we'll see if we change him around. Valkyrie, Valkyrie is definitely an A tier legend due to her movement as well, her movement capability. She gives you vertical height, which no, not a lot of other legends have besides Pathfinder, Pathfinder's tactical, and then Octane's ultimate it gives you vertical and well, Horizon's tactical as well. Almost forgot about her for a moment. Um, but Valkyrie gives you the vertical height, which not a lot of other legends have. See, as I just named, only like three le other legends have that out of the entire roster. Um, her ultimate as well allows you to get further, like allows you to get further distances, even if there's no jump tower near you. And that works very well on Storm Point because there's only, I think, one or two jump towers on Storm, Storm Point. So she's a really good movement legend. It allows you to get in and out of fights if you play it correctly. So that's what makes her 18. Her tactical, now with the glitch or bug, where if you shield, use a shield shell while you're in the middle of tact while you're in the middle of your tactical, it just drops the cooldown to potentially three seconds and you can just keep spamming it. Now, Watson, let's move on to Watson. She is definitely not in the best position. Although her hitbox hasn't changed, which is really good. So she still has a really small hitbox. But there, there's some things that I don't think work well. Like, her tactical can be used only for D. Like, I haven't seen a real good use of using her tactical offensively. Um, definitely have seen her uh, ultimate used offensively. I use a lot of people's ultimates offensively uh, and defensively as well. So, her ultimate can be used both ways. Um, if you're pushing a fight or, you're, or you're, you're sniper from far away, definitely does help if you're starting to get pinged. Um, it also starts grenades and starts Bangalore's ult, Fuse's ult, Gibraltar's ult. So it does do quite a lot. And I think it also stops Valkyrie's tactical. And it should stop a majority of other projectiles such as grenades and things like that. So with that being said, I'm, I don't know if I want to put her C or D tier. She's definitely not the best. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm going to put her, put her in a solid solid yeah we're we're gonna we're gonna she's not awful i'm gonna put her here and now last but not least we have wraith now as much as i dearly oh so dearly hate wraiths i i hate bald wraith mains unfortunately she is an s tier legend 
The reason being is she's the only legend in the game where you get pure immunity for a few moments. While you can be seen, you take no damage. You are immune. So if you time this right, you're able to get out of a fight and have no other problems. You're able to sneak around, go up corners, go up zips in the buildings with your ult with your tactical active, and you're pretty much fine 100% of the time. Now, with that being said, her ultimate as well, which is a portal, she can get places that not a lot of other legends get. Um, well, move up on people faster than not a, like than more than other legends. Sorry. A little bit of a stutter there, but she could definitely move up on legends faster if you can find her ultimate with her tactical. Basically, people don't even know you're there. You could definitely start kidnapping people. Now, I know how bad that sounds, but basically kidnapping is when you drop her portal right behind somebody and it pulls them in and you have your other two squad mates aiming shotguns, aiming 301s, anything, R99s, volts, and it just shreds them to pieces before they even know what happened once they get kidnapped. And that's what makes her an Esther legend. Now, let's go back through this and let's see what I may need to change here. And I'm thinking the only one I need to really change is Bangalore because she's not as bad as Crypto. And in my opinion, she's definitely better than the rest of the C tier now that I look how it's set up, mainly because of her passive. So with that being said, we're going to sit Bangalore at B tier and that's going to be it for my tier list but let me know what you think in the comments below let me know if you think i'm messing up or if you think some legends are better than others now this is generally just my personal opinion and um you're welcome to play whatever legend you want i'm not saying oh if you're a crypto main you're trash no not at all you can definitely be an amazing crypto main but this is all about how the legends i played and how i felt about them when i played them but as i stated before this is the tier list let me know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on those post notifications as well.